You know what makes a great cup of coffee? It is when Fujifilm just finished off their Fuji X Summit this morning, introducing some crazy new lineups for their cameras. And specifically, I wanna talk about one of those cameras today. So yes, the X Summit just ended just a couple hours ago, uh, but one of the standouts of this conference is the new GFX 100S medium format camera. Now, I've seen rumors about this camera. I've seen, you know, leaked specs and everything about it, but I didn't really care too much about it until they actually officially announced it like they did this morning. And this camera just just blew me away. It it captured my heart. It captured my inner my inner photographer, my inner artist. Um I don't know. I was thinking about getting the Fujifilm XC4 this year. Um, because I always shoot with the X series with Fujifilm, but now that I've seen this, I wonder if I should just skip on the XC4 and get this GFX 100S. I don't know. You guys, let me know. Tell me down below in the comments. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about what is coming inside this camera. Now, first of all, this is a medium format camera. So with that, the megapixels on this camera is going to be pretty big. It comes at 102 megapixels. All right. As IBIS, so for those who are using this for film camera, which they have very much highlighted that this camera is going to be used for cinematic movie making. The next thing on the list that I really, 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 really want to talk about is the new film simulation that they're using with this camera, which is the Nostalgic Neg or Negative film simulation. And I'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. It has a new updated autofocus algorithm. Basically what that does is it can quickly focus a subject in 0.16 seconds. So that's pretty fast. And it comes in a small compact design. You know, it, it basically weighs almost as similar as like a full frame camera. Like a lot of the GFX camera lines for the Fujifilm or just, just just their medium format cameras in general are pretty big or pretty huge. But this one here, you can carry it around with you. Um, I, I also think it would be great to use for uh, street photography. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop on to the film simulation that I just mentioned. Now, this is called the Nostalgic Neg Film Simulation. Now, the thing that I really, really love about this film simulation is that it gives it that old, as they say, that old American like colors from, um, I can't remember what time zone I said. I think they said 60s or 70s or something like that. Um, but when I looked at this film installation, it screamed street photography. It streamed street photography, especially when you're downtown in a big bustling city like New York or something like that. Like using that film installation, I think these street photography photos are going to look amazing. And I only hope that they will update these film simulations to their newer camera lineups like for instance the xc4 you know um and, and i just hope they don't just keep it just for this uh this camera here but i'm pretty sure they probably will because like that's a way to entice people to come and purchase this new camera but another thing that i really love about this camera is that me as a portrait photographer like editorial commercial that's the line of work that i'm striving for and i think getting a medium format camera such as this um, would be a tremendous investment in my career now you know i shoot with a very old camera in the x series lineup and that's the xt20 that's what i'm saying this year i have to upgrade like i have used everything in this camera um, that i can possibly use it for and it's just time for me to upgrade so i'm really really just making sure that the money that i put towards into the next purchase of this year is worth it so that's what i'm saying like i don't know if i should just skip the xc4 and just go straight for this but the only issue that i have with getting this gfx is the price this thing is six thousand dollars so I don't know if I won the lottery or something, but so far in my budget, that's something that's probably not going to fit this year. But I don't know. Things can happen. If you guys really think that I should just skip the XT4 and just save it for this, maybe I'll do it. But $6,000 is a lot of money. $6,000. 
I wish I could just take that out of my pocket. I'd be like, bam, pre-order. So yeah, guys, I just want to share my thoughts because I was excited. Um, I know I look bad right now. I just woke up in the morning because I was literally laying in my bed watching this summit on my iPhone. And then as soon as it was done, I wanted to put on the camera and just share my thoughts. And I'm pretty sure if you guys are watching this video, you guys have already seen the summit. If not, you know, great, go ahead and watch it. It should be up there on YouTube. Um, but yeah, like I, I think, I think one of my goals as a Fuji shooter is I want to work towards getting one of these medium format cameras. Forget full frame. I think medium format is good because another thing too with this camera is that it does very well in low light. And that's one of the issues that I have with the mirrorless um, APS-C cameras is that it just doesn't do great in nighttime environments or low light situations. And you know, that kind of, that kind of uh, um, permits me for doing more creative style of shooting unless you know I have lights and everything. But sometimes I don't wanna use a lot of lights for my shoots. Uh, so yeah, maybe one day I get the six thousand dollars. Maybe someone would just hand me six thousand dollars, and then I'll just go ahead and buy it. I don't know, but we'll see. You never know. It's still the beginning of the year. We don't know what's going to happen. Maybe my career would just boost up, and I just get a whole bunch of work because I do have some plans of where I'm trying to take my portrait photography business, and hopefully, I can take you guys along for that ride. So, you guys, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Make sure to hit the ring and bell button so you can be notified for more videos coming from this channel. Comment below, share me your thoughts. Are you guys excited for the GFX 100S as much as I am? But other than that guys, as always, keep the dreams alive. Peace.